Renee Johnson. I'm the Vocational Nursing Director at Hill College. And we've been doing simulation in our program for, well, since about 2007. We started out with one sim man, and we have two sim mans now, a uh, sim baby, and um, attending the sons for the past couple years. I've learned a lot, and our simulation program has grown, and we started a study on simulation and trying to measure critical thinking and brought that to this this son and came away with after the presentation came away with uh, good information to take back to be able to um, continue the study adjust it and get the results It was unknown. It was, you know, it was a change. It was, uh, uh, most of the administration was trying to be progressive, but at the same time, it was the attitude that let's not take away clinical time for simulation. So uh, that they didn't feel it's equivalent. And that's a lot of what the study I'm doing now is to bring data so that show them the numbers that, yes, you know, we are. Uh, we're not replacing clinical with simulation, but the addition of it is definitely um, helping the students, and the students love it. For us, it's about half and half. We have uh, faculty that love simulation and want, you know, want more of it, and then we have other faculty that have been in nursing education for years that just can't seem to to do it <laughs> you know they say okay yeah this is good but then they continue to do as they've always done definitely definitely the data that we're going to get uh, we'll be able to show um, and and the faculty you know they they won't be able to to disagree at all. And I don't think they're disagreeing now so much as they just don't know how to do it and they don't take the time to learn. So it's more of a how do you educate them? My dream is to have a simulation center at, at our facility. I want um, you know, there's in the makings, we have uh, blueprints for an 18 bed simulation center, uh, including a room for home health, and uh, would love to have an ambulance bay attached to it. <clears throat> Multidisciplinary simulation. We, um, we have done a few of those with our EMS, the bioterrorism simulation that we run. We have. Uh, bombers running around, people with guns <laughs> going off, explosions going off. It's really fun. Um, and the students learn a lot from that. And I would love to see more interaction. We have a criminal justice program. I'd love to involve those in on the simulations. And um, the, yeah, with everybody, everybody on board. These um, bigger facilities with the Smart Hospital, they're very open to us that we're smaller and, and we're still learning. And you know, we just now got um, faculty that are simulation coordinators that are responsible for the Skills Lab Simulation Lab. And they're reaching out to these other facilities that are more established and, and they're more than, more than willing to share and be supportive.